I'm on my way up Peel Hill. This has become a destination for many people. For good reason, it's beautiful, but it's not new. This hill has been important for thousands of years and you might not have ever noticed them, but just yards off the path are burial mounds from 4,000 years ago. Just for a bit of context, Peel Castle, the oldest part we can see, is 1,000 years old. These things are four times older than that. So this is from the 2200 to about 1500 BC, the early Bronze Age. Now no written records survive from this period, so we don't know very much about it. And the houses, the wooden houses that they lived in, have long rotted away. But the mounds where they buried their dead remain scattered across the island. And there's a whole sketch of them just over there. There are at least four of these round mounds on Peel Hill. The most obvious one is this one behind me, and it's literally just metres off the path. Now this one was excavated in 1878, and inside they found the remains of burials. Those burials were cremation burials, and they were placed inside urns, about the size of this bin, but made of clay with ridges running around the outside. The cremated remains were placed in the urn, and the whole thing was found upside down inside the mound. In two of these mounds, they also found evidence of kists. Now a kist is basically a stone-lined grave. In this case, they were made of slate, around about the size of this box. So the kists were placed inside the mound with the urns inside the kists. And in one of those, they also found a layer of white stones like these. Now I just gathered these off the shore and I imagine they did too, but why? To be honest, we're never going to know. But it's worth noting that stones like these have had special significance even into modern times. Peel fishermen used to use rocks gathered off of the shore as ballast in their boats, and it was reported that they never used the white ones. But only one of the kists had white stones in it, and only two of the mounds had kists at all. Each of them was a little bit different. Now we know that round mounds were used and added to over centuries, so maybe this shows us how religious practices or beliefs changed over time. Or maybe each burial was as individual as the person buried there. But why here on Peel Hill? Well, we're never going to know for sure, but we can make some good guesses. It's likely that they chose to bury their dead on a hill close to where they lived. And we know that in the Bronze Age, people were living on St. Patrick's Isle, where the castle stands today. It's also likely that they were living in the town where modern Peel is too. So the next time you make that trip from the town to the top, imagine that for thousands of years, people have known that this is a special place.